is you need the, the shoreline and then the fishnet. The fishnet is just used to help you keep track. It's an easy way to break things down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you how to to the shoreline, see whether it's sand or not. And I'm just gonna do it for one of the uh, of the fishnet. So we're gonna do it inside of Bacopa, which I think is down in here. But if they're sand or not, you need to have open layers plugin installed. So go up to plugins and then manage and install plugins. So yeah, just type in open. It's open layers plugin. I'm gonna turn mine on. Mine's already installed, but down here you should have an install button. Just click that and it'll turn on. So the next step is to go up to web, open layers plugin, and Bing Maps and Bing Aerial. Give it a second while that pulls in, but now we have an aerial photo of Lake Victoria. So I'm going to just bring that down to the bottom for a second. And I'm going to right click on Fishnet Poly, go to Properties. And under Style, I'm going to move my transparency up to like 15, 25, something like that. Just so goes away. So you can still see the sand if there is any, but now it's just a track. I think it's over in here. I believe so. To this, let me make sure. Is this the beach? Sorry, I just want to make sure I was in the right spot. So, click on the shoreline. You can go to open at train table. Click on this open field calculator. So, we're going to field. We're just going to call it sand. Uh, we're going to keep it as a whole number integer. You can leave that. Uh, but we're just going to set it equal to zero. So it defaults to no sand, and then when we find out that there is sand, we're going to edit it and change it to a 1. So we're going to click OK. So the field might take a little bit. So now we have zeros all throughout. So I'm just going to. Credits. Just saving that field. So what I'm going to do is zoom in. And I'm going to go to the top of this line. So here's the shoreline. We're just going to follow along. Select features by area or single click. Through and this looks like there's some sand in here, so we're gonna open up the right click and open up the attribute table. Gonna show us the selected features. So we're just gonna change, change this, double click, and just change it to one. And then this. Turn off the editor. So, again, that kind of looks like sand, so I'm just going to count that one. So, again, select. Table. It might be smarter to just keep the table open so you don't have to keep pulling it back up. The same process. The editor's on. Do click. Save it.
drag it down until you see the next one. So, yeah, and that kind of looks like sand, I believe. Then up, show me the selected features for this one. Turn on my head there. That one doesn't have any sand on it, so we're good to go. This one clearly has sand on it, so I select it. So I select the features. And that one's got sand on it too. Features are good. So I don't see any there, so that one is done. Moving on to the next one. Halfway through that one. 